I have one. Now, there's a big thing I need to talk to you about this week. Um, and it's actually to do with a bit more. It's not the fact that my tooth still hurts. and I'm still taking painkillers. I know. Um, that's been three weeks I've talked about it now. It's not uh, Marmalade the Bearded Dragon, who's doing great, actually. He really is doing great. What an absolute pleasure that lad is. Um, it's not about that. It's not about my new obsession with Games Workshop. You know, those little men which you paint. Honestly, uh, I could make a whole video about that. It's not. Um, what it's about is we have now got a new chair of governors. Now, it's been six years that I've been working with Antonio Forte, our chair of governors. And six years with me is a long time. So I think she said, you know what? I can't handle any more. Um, I think I was probably telling her about Marmalade or Games Workshop when she finally quit. Um, what she said is she's she's made such an impact on the school. What an impact. Um, we went into, this school went from being, you know, wasn't a great school to being excellent in three years. Two years later, she played a huge part in allowing me to go across two schools. And the reason why she did it is because she cares about the education of children in Barry. And it's not just about Whitmore, it's about making sure everyone in Barry gets the same education. And she will be really missed. But when there is a change, so first of all, thank you, Antonia. I'm sorry I forgot to buy you a card, um, but this is my thank you. So we've now got a new chair of governors. So the new chair of governors is um, Kathy Riddick. Now you might know Kathy Riddick because she has got two children in the school. And I'm really, really excited because she went on a tour with me on Friday around the school. Uh, we know each other quite well already. And she has got a real passion for this school and for education in Barry again. And what's brilliant is, is I know that she only wants to keep on making this school better and will challenge me and support me to make sure that happens. So a really great appointment, a loss with losing um, Antonia, but I think it's a real move forward as well um, with Cathy. Okay, so there we are. Uh, what's the next thing? Um, two things I want to talk about, clubs. Now, I've already mentioned my love of Games Workshop, right? I, I've always wanted to buy the little men, like the little men you paint. When I was younger, my dad refused to buy me them. And then when he did buy me them, he, he refused to spray them white. He said it would make a mess. So anyway, right, what, this is what being an adult and having children is all about, is buying um, stuff for your children that is really for you. So I bought all these men. And my children went to bed about 8 o'clock last night. My wife went to bed a bit later. I was still up. I was still painting the men. I was calling Mr. Gamble at 10.30 at night asking for his advice on how to paint the eyes. That's what I've become. Um, but the point is, what's the point? Right, I love the club. <laughs> and I was at Games Workshop the other day, and it was just so great to see pupils who, like, it's a niche product, Games Workshop. It's not every child wants to play it. But you see little year sevens playing with year 11s um, in lots of different games, having a lovely time. And that is what clubs should be all about. It's about trying different things. It's about having passions in life. So you're more interested. Um, although some would argue I've become less interested since liking Games Workshop. There's a sewing club. So um, Miss Martin, thank you, Miss Martin. You have, she came down and said, I've, I've got this great idea. Can I do a sewing club? I was like, yes. So we spent a thousand pounds on all the equipment. Please get involved. If you want to do any sewing, what a great club to do. Um, and there's been loads of other clubs. You know, it's the same as normal. But the big change for next year, and a kind of it this year is, we're now getting pupils to be the people who run the clubs as well. Because half the skill is doing a club and learning stuff. Another skill is coaching others. So you know we've got 44 sports ambassadors. They're now going down to the primary schools. I think I told you about that last week. The other bit we've now got is six form, um, six form prefects are now also gonna go down to the primary schools and do literacy and numeracy interventions. And it's such a great thing because it benefits the, the primary pupils but it also develops the skills in Whitmore pupils. Um, what else do I need to tell you about? Not a lot. It's just been, I know it's boring to say, but it's been another superb week at Whitmore. Right, have a lovely weekend. Speak to you soon.